So I've been climbing a long time. Started pretty young, I was five or something like that. More just scrambling and sort of occasional bits of climbing because we didn't live near any kind of climbing. There weren't climbing walls really, particularly back then. It took a while for me to sort of progress a little bit, but I eventually worked my way up to sort of 6C, 7A, basically climbing 7As and then kind of plateaued for a long time through work, through working through my climbing instructor, mountain instructor qualifications and just sort of day to day life. I just wasn't getting enough time climbing to, to progress any further. So I sort of plateaued on that 7A grade for, I don't know, 10, 15 years. But I made some pretty big changes in my life and one of the results of that was it gave me a lot more time to be able to climb and and do the things that make make me happy and that has sort of kind of led me to to i guess why this problem such a big milestone for me is having been on stuck at on that sort of plateau for so long you know 15 years to actually be able to break through not just break through into the the 7B grade barrier, the next grade up from where I was, but 7C is like substantially higher than where I was. And it's a grade that I never thought I would ever be able to climb. Well, here we are again, back at Jerry's Roof in Snowdonia. So it's been a couple of months since I tried it. I had a couple of, I had a session working out the moves and then session like going for it trying to get it all do all the moves but just couldn't quite link it all together but anyway we're back so i guess we're going to see if i'm any stronger or any fitter the problem is i can't quite remember all the moves so i've got to try and re-figure out all the little micro beta and tiny little foot adjustments but basically we've got we've got today where there's good today the weather might be good tomorrow and then we've got to leave Snowdonia and we won't be back for at least a few months. So I feel quite nervous. I don't know if it's I'm putting myself under extra pressure or if it's because it would be quite a great breakthrough for me. But I feel nervous. I feel... Yeah, because I know I can do all the moves and I do just need to link it all together, I don't know if that makes easier or if it puts more pressure on. Well, finished the Jerry's roof. Got further than I've ever got before, so that's good. Managed to do the crux from the start, and then, but I didn't get the crux done very well. So it took so much energy doing the crux and just somehow holding that move that I then was too tired to do the rest of it. But yeah, so that was a shame. On the upside though, a local turned up and uh, gave me some new beta, changed the foot placement for the crux and the crux felt quite a bit easier. Hopefully next session that means be able to get it. Definitely felt a little bit stronger on it this time than last time. So that's good. And um, yeah, conditions felt better, less sweaty, so progress.
uh, uh, seven C. It's been a good week. Oh, I felt alright. Warmed up. Did the crux. Best I've ever done it. Pulled on. Sent it. Yeah, got the crux. Didn't. I felt a bit tired at the top, but. Yeah, it just went really well. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so just like anxious, just playing mind games before. Like, because I knew I could kind of do the moves, but it's just that psychological battle, that continual self-doubt. You've never climbed anything this hard before. Can you do it? I was just kind of putting it off because I knew that I only had. Probably about three goes, three good goes, and then I'll probably be it. Because tomorrow it's raining, all the other days after that it's raining. So I was kind of putting it off and putting it off, putting it off because I was just didn't. I didn't want it to be over. I didn't want to have to have that niggle, that that unfinished project leaving here. It still seems slightly surreal. I still look in the guidebook now and look at a, if a boulder problem says 7C, I, I look at it and go, oh, I'll never be able to climb that. And then I have to sort of remind myself, oh, well, actually I have climbed 7C, so maybe I could try it. It's been a journey to get through to this stage. And it's basically been a year since being able to climb a lot more. So it's taken me about a, a year's climbing to break from that 7A barrier to be able to climb that 7C. So I'm pretty excited to see what happens in another year's time. It'd be so nice to be able to climb an 8A, but I think that might take more than a year. <laughs>